Welcome to the training scenario, Commander. This scenario will help you get familiar with both the basic and advanced controls of our command and control system. Throughout your training, you will use training stations to activate different sections of the training mission. Simply move your cursor over a training station and press A to select that section. You may interrupt the training station by selecting it again while it is running. After a few seconds, the station will reset and be ready for you to reselect the section. There are four major sections to the Command and Conquer 3 heads-up display. The mini-map is located in the bottom left corner of the screen. It allows you to keep track of your units and structures in all locations on the battlefield. It also displays important information, like your power meter and credits. You can reference your objectives at any moment if you're having trouble figuring out what to do next. To access your objectives, press the Back button. There are two types of objectives. Objective markers. The yellow objective markers are primary objectives that you must complete in order to finish the mission. The green arrows are bonus objectives. Completing all the bonus objectives will unlock all the medals and ribbons available for that mission. If you ever need to know what a particular button, unit, or structure does, place the cursor over the object and a tooltip will appear. Continue your training by selecting the next training station. This station covers camera movement, zoom, and rotation. To pan the camera, move the left stick up, down, left, or right. Move the camera in any direction now. To zoom the camera in or out, move the right stick up or down. Zoom the camera now. To rotate the camera, move the right stick left or right. Try rotating the camera now. To reset the camera to the default setting, click the right stick button. Reset the camera now. Continue your training by selecting the next training station. This station teaches some basic methods for selecting your units. Highlight these soldiers by placing your cursor over them. While your cursor is over the soldiers, press A to select them. The soldiers are now selected. Notice that your currently selected units have a rope around their feet to indicate that they're selected. Some units, like these riflemen, come in squads that are selected as a group when you press A on any of them. You can select all of your units on screen by pulling and holding the left trigger and then pressing A. Try selecting all of your units on screen now. Nicely done, Commander. Continue your training by selecting the next training station. This section will teach you how to move your units. Select these units. Now place your cursor over open ground and notice that the cursor changes. This means that you may issue a move command. Press A to issue a move command next to the smoke signal. This way, rifle squad. Great job. Continue your training by selecting the next training station. This station will teach you how to issue attack commands. Select these soldiers. Now move your cursor over those enemy Nod soldiers and notice that the cursor changes. This means that you may issue an attack command against these units. Press A while the cursor is over the Nod soldiers. Your soldiers will move in and attack them until they're eliminated. Yes, sir, we'll hold the line. When in range, your units will attack enemy units automatically. They will not, however, automatically target structures. You must issue an attack command to destroy those. Have your units destroy that Nod power plant by issuing an attack command on the structure. Well done. The attack move command is used to make units move to a location, but stop to attack every enemy they encounter on the way. This differs from a normal move command, which will ignore every enemy unit along the way. To give these units an attack move command, select them, and then double tap A over open ground near those Nod soldiers to send your units on a path of destruction. Affirmative. Good work. Continue your training by selecting the next training station. Your collection of structures is referred to as your base. 
This section teaches the basics of base construction. The vehicle moving into view is an MCV. An MCV allows you to build the structures that will form your base. Select the MCV. To unpack your MCV, pull and hold the right trigger to open the radial interface. Now that the MCV is unpacked, you have established ground control and can place additional structures anywhere within your build radius. Pull and hold the right trigger to open the radial interface. The structure is now being built. Every structure has a build time before it can be placed on the battlefield. The building can now be placed anywhere within your build radius. Press A to place the building. To return to your base at any time, click the left stick button. Continue your training by selecting the next training station. This section teaches you how to build the units that will fight for you. Select the barracks and then pull and hold the right trigger to open the radial interface. Rifle squad ready. Now press A to begin building a squad of riflemen. You may queue up additional squads by pressing the A button again. Queue up an additional two squads. When one squad is completed, the next squad will begin to build. If you want to pause building on any queue, press B on the icon for that unit. You may then resume building the unit by pressing A, or you may cancel building the unit by pressing B again. You can also utilize the radial interface to access your build queues from anywhere on the battlefield. You have now remotely accessed your second barrack structure. Train another rifleman squad and notice that this squad deploys from your second barracks.